is. Oh my yes. gosh! Yes! Wow. Oh, there it is. Cool, eh? Yes, definitely. Almost to Yosemite and Coco and I are very excited. So excited. So the drive to Yosemite, it's gonna take about five hours. We left from LA about eight in the morning and we're gonna arrive probably about two in the afternoon. That's six hours, Scott. Math, kids, math. Um, just paying for the car. All right, it's a $30 engine speed. Okay. And that'll be good for up to seven days. Okay, great. All right, so I got the map. We paid our $30 entrance fee. It lasts us a week. So maybe we'll just stay. What do you think? It's June in Yosemite and look, there's snow on the ground in June. There's snow there, there's snow there. There's snow everywhere. One of the easier ways to see Yosemite is via Glacier Point, which is a pretty easy hike. You have a few options. You have the four mile loop. I'm already breathing heavy from the elevation, so I think we're gonna take it easy and just do a mile and a half trail to Glacier Point. So we just checked out Glacier Point. It is a great little beginner's hike, even though it's, I wouldn't really consider it a hike. It's basically a leisurely stroll from the parking lot, but good to acclimate from the 6,000 feet, so. But you can probably see maybe hundreds of people behind us. It has probably some of the best panoramic views of all of Yosemite Valley. You get to see Yosemite Falls, which is 2,425 feet of drop, which is, you see the cars down in the valley, and then you compare it to the massive drop, and you realize how small you are in this world. Oh my gosh! Yes! yes. Wow. Oh, there it is. Cool, yes, definitely. Oh, there she be! Wow. She's a beaut. What's up, girl? Come here often? When you're driving through the tunnel into Yosemite Park, be prepared for one of the most epic views of your life. And be prepared to stop because you're gonna wanna pull over and take a million photos because you'll get views like this. Do you guys see the heart in there? I do. Good morning. <laughs> we just started our morning with a nice cup of joe from Pete's Coffee. It's actually in Yosemite Valley. So we were shocked to find out that there's a nice coffee shop here. Yeah, Half Dome Village is, we were a little nervous coming here. We didn't know if we'd be able to get food or coffee or whatever it is. But when you get here, there's a pizzeria, there's a bar, there's a burger joint. There's it's like its own little village, hence Half Dome Village. <laughs> It's really convenient. If you showed up with nothing, you could probably get anything you could need here. Yeah. It might be a little pricey, but they've got all the essentials. Now for the important things. <laughs> Food, climbing gear. Sandwiches. And sandwiches. So this is our cabin while we're in Yosemite. And we get a bear locker to protect your food and toiletries and anything with a scent. Let's go inside. Check out our mess. A bed that's usually not this messy. You get a safe to store your valuables. And you get a roof over your head, which is pretty cool when you're camping. And you get... And you get a light. One light. No electrical outlets. So charge your stuff before you come or bring a battery pack and charge while you're here. But you can also charge in the lobby. When we 
we walked into Lower Yosemite Valley, we were smacked with wind and mist from Yosemite Falls. And we're gonna show you just how windy and wet it is right now. All right, you gotta see how windy and rainy it is. Ah, from the falls. <laughs> All this cold air is coming off from the glacier fed water. We just finished Little Yosemite Falls as our first warm up hike and it was spectacular but it was windy it was cold bring a jacket it bring gets a little jacket. wet <laughs> uh bring a poncho if you got one one of the great things to do if you're not looking to hike and you want to relax stop at the majestic hotel and grab a drink and sit by these amazing views and relax. There's no one way to see Yosemite. There's no one angle. It's multi-dimensional. It's incredible seeing Yosemite from the valley and it's amazing seeing Yosemite from the top of the mountain. So change your perspective. Get on different levels when you come to Yosemite. Every single angle has something to offer. Tune in next week to see if we can get over our fear of heights and make it to the top of Half Dome. And you can see Half Dome right there, and we're gonna hike it in about two days time. Hi guys, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And we are Romaru. And if you wanna see the most epic travel adventures around the world, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.